Okay, this is the 300 watt grower light that I got off of Amazon for right around $50. Um, I'm going to be trying to use this to start my own plants for the garden. It's something I haven't done yet, and I figured for $50, bucks, if, I, if I can actually get it to work, get plants to grow, it may save me money in the long run from buying plants. If you want to learn more about it, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. Like I said, this is the 300 watt grower light that I got off Amazon. It comes with the light, power cord, and these little cables to hang it from the ceiling or however you want to hang it. I'm thinking about taking it downstairs to the basement, hanging it from the rafters, putting it on a chain. That way I can raise it and lower it just depending on how, on how the plants grow. And here's your instruction on how to use it. Let's go ahead, plug it in, and see what it looks like. Okay, it has two different stages, vegetation and bloom. Now, I don't know if you can hear it, but the fans are running. This is what the vegetation one looks like. And this is what the bloom looks like. Okay, both of them are at the same time. Now, this is my first time ever trying anything like this, so I don't really know if this makes any difference. If you can have both lights on or just the one light on. Looks like there might be a bulb or two out. Oh, no, it's just a screw. No, it's a bulb. I see I already got a bulb out, and I just bought it. Yeah, it's a red bulb. But let's hope that doesn't make that big of a difference. But this is just one of these quick things I wanted to show you guys for a future video. What's coming up for the Lawn and Garden series. So you know what's going on. And with the lights turned off, the fan's still going. I don't know if that keeps running for a while or not. Okay. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button, and as always, thanks for watching.